Alright, so we got the Saturn Crest now for Kimari, which, like I said, we probably won't be able to get a sigil because it's impossible. You gotta beat the butterfly minigame. But, anyways, I just wanted to show you where it is because we missed it last time. We passed right by it. So now we're gonna board the airship and head to our next area. And there's a reason I'm going here next to Baj Temple. It's actually one of the hidden coordinate places of the game. So just talk to Sid again. Sid again. And let's use the search feature. Um, and the search feature... Um, what was the coordinates? I think it was... Alright, you want to go to coordinates. The X, or somewhere around 11. It doesn't have to be precise. And for the Y, somewhere around 57. And if you keep pressing the X button, there you go. We located Baj Temple. And I accidentally left. There's no one I wanted to do. Talk to Sid again. And click his list. And click on Bosch Temple. Now, um, what I'm gonna do here is very risky. And that's because I have absolutely no armor for either uh Kimari uh Kimari, I'm sorry, for either Titus, Riku, or Waka that's stone proof, stone touch proof. And this boss we're about to fight casts Petrify. So yeah, what I'm about to do here is absolutely ridiculous, but I'm gonna try and see if I can do it anyway. And it's very important, make sure you save before this point, and I'll explain why in just a second. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. Yep. I get the picture. Alright, let's go. If you recognize it, this is the first place of the game Titus was at after uh, getting pulled out of his, uh, his Anarchan. But yeah, um... <coughs> you're gonna want to save before this, because if you're gonna want to get... Especially for Lulu's, um side sigil, which you have to dodge 200 lightning bolts to get it. I want to save before this because this is the easiest way to get the no encounter ability. He has a, I think, 50% chance of dropping um, a weapon that has a no encounter clause on it, or no ability. The other way is pretty hard. You gotta collect, I think, I forget what it is. I think it's like 30 of something, which is like really rare to drop, so yeah, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Alright, so let's use a lightning marble. Ooh! I cast a haste, dang on everyone, by the way. And this is what I'm talking about. Oh, thank god he missed. Um, Alright, now we're just gonna keep using quick hit. I think this is the best threat. Riku, use... Let's try Antarctic Wind, see if it does anything. Eh. Yeah, so quick hit is, is probably the best bet here. Just keep using it over and over again. Quick hit. And hopefully we got we got everything to control. Uh, lightning marble. I mean, this guy's pretty easy. The only thing that, that's tough about him is, like I said, he likes petrifying, petrifying you, but you want to use petrify. Uh, touch or punch or whatever, and like I said, if you don't have uh, protection against it, which I don't, you're gonna die. Unless uh, you can get a million turns before he does. Here, watch. Now he's gonna do stone punch. Someone's gonna be eliminated. Oh no! Riku got lucky and got lucky with the stone touch or stone punch and didn't get affected. So that's what you gotta hope for, hope for when you do this. You gotta get lucky like that. Dragon scale. This guy goes down fairly quick, by the way. Just keep using quick hit on him. Luckily, I have quick hit on both Walk and Tidus. I think I showed... I might have not show that, so I guess I'll go over that. Yeah, I went ahead and used um, Waka's... Uh, or I used like, his friend sphere, not friend sphere, special sphere, I think it was. Or a, a skill sphere, something like that. And I ended up teaching Waka... Tetis is quick hit because we're gonna very useful. We're gonna need it for arena later anyway. So, all right, quick hit, quick hit, quick hit. We got him. He's pretty much done here. Steel water gem too for fun. One more hit and he's a goner. Doesn't matter what he does. No KO punch. Big deal. There. Counter for the win. All right, now we're gonna. He's done. Uh, we're gonna pray that he dropped a no encounter weapon. If not. I'm going to pause the game and reset it and fight him again and just keep fighting him until he drops what I want and then uh, come
come back, come back live once I do that. So let's hope. And I think I got it. Let me see Barack's sword. Hopefully it has no encounter on it. Let's have a look. That's not it. There you go. We got lucky. We got Titus' Barak or Baroque sword. I can't even pronounce it right. With no encounter ability. Sweet. All right. So, while we're here in Bosch Temple, there is something else very important we could do here. So, let's go ahead and go to the little green entrance over there. Where this uh, hard creature happened to be guarding. So, yeah, if you don't get, like I said, if you don't get your no encounters weapon... Ready first try, just reset the game and keep doing it until you get it. It's the best best way to go about it. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this place? This is creepy. This song always scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Alright, we got a bunch of statues here. If we walk by one, you'll notice it lights up. Each one of these statues represents the destruction sphere, or the items that we unlock, we got from every temple. The, me the the side items, you know, like that we used, you know, we used the destruction sphere to get them. And there's six of them in total, and we got all six, so we're obviously gonna unlock something good, you would presume. Make sure you don't miss these treasure here. Mega elixir. There you go. Just walk up to every single one of them. Sweet. I think this one was uh, Shiva, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I remember each one of these statues. <laughs> this one was Bohumith. And this one is... I have no idea what that one is. Xanarkin, I guess? Whatever. We broke the seal! What's behind the door? Let's go find out. Hmm. Cutscene! Yep, even inside stuff in this game, there's cutscenes. That's what I love about this game the most. Cutscenes for everything. But why are we here? Song of the Faith. Recognizer? Our Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? It is alright. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. She's pretty. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a Faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yep. <laughs> yes. Gotta love it. Come, summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The dark aeon, anima. <laughs> Destroy sin, and my son's obsession with it. 
Gotta love the backstory. It was a small recompense for what I did to him. And... We got a new Aeon Anima. That's right. This is actually my favorite Aeon in the freaking game. I love it. Love it. Uh, so... Overdrive, or, I mean Aeons, we got Anima, our first side, well, our second side Aeon next to Yojimbo, very nice. And it's also very cool to, to learn a little bit about, a little more about Seymour's backstory with his mother and all, so. Yeah, that pretty much concludes um, this area. There's actually one more thing we can get here, we can't get yet though, and we'll be back here a little later for it, but now we just want to head back to the airship into our next area. Um, I'll probably be collecting, uh, yeah, probably within my ne with my next episode, probably gonna start collecting all the Jack Sphere, so. Now we're just gonna head back to the safe point. We'll actually meet you there, why not? See you in a few.